You could binge watch the entire first season of Afterlife instead of watching this show. That, that's a show about a man who wants to kill himself because his wife dies of cancer. And it's still more fun than this, OK? <laughs> Spoiler alert, um, season two is on the way, so in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Shut up. I know he's your friend, but I don't care. You had to make your own way here and your own plane, didn't you? Right. Those are the very funny and true words by comedian Ricky Gervais. That's making some very interesting comments about no longer being in the in crowd of Hollywood anymore. I wonder why. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Luke Kodowski of WeAreChange.org. And in this video, we will be updating and talking about the latest important information surrounding the Jeffrey Epstein Ghislaine Maxwell saga, which there is an important court proceeding happening now about. There are many motions that we're going to be talking about, as well as the exclusive bombshell documents that are set to be released just hours from now, no later than July 30th. We're going to go over that plus a lot more, as well as all the weird creepy stuff surrounding this very important story that very interestingly the elite connected mainstream media is having a very difficult time putting the pieces together too they also can't figure out why gold is at an all-time high with the federal reserve spending and printing more money ever recorded in human history and they're running with headlines with dr fauci telling you that a medicine doesn't work even though there's 65 individual studies proving it does so yeah with the financial reckoning happening Happening, don't expect the mainstream media to report a lot of these bigger issues and don't expect a lot of them to be on your timelines since of course the information we're providing and a lot of alternative independent media is being shadow banned censored and now hey is 100 percent demonetized but 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 at least we got shirts that if you buy go towards supporting We Are Change and also spreading very important messages out to the general public in a way where it can't be censored. Yes, so far, at least for now, just for now, you could still wear a t-shirt and express a political opinion. And boy, do we have a lot of t-shirts since we're dealing with, you know, 100% demonetization. This long sleeve uh, Karl Marx gives me that as one of my favorites. And uh, we, ha we have a lot of them. We, we truly have a lot. Check them out in the description and comment section down below. Now, if you didn't know this, uh, you might need a reality check, but government officials and elite members of society allegedly who are also abusers of children go hand in hand like peanut butter and jelly they're intertwined way more than you think way more than the mainstream media would admit as even former prime ministers were a part of a child abuse rings like we saw in the united kingdom even extremely prominent politicians like the speaker of the house here in the united states and the list goes on and on specifically uh, in the United Kingdom, where, where this seems more of an epidemic than anywhere else, where the royal family is just very conveniently intertwined with a lot of them, as well as its government that protects abusers of children. And since many people are good-hearted individuals with morals, with virtues that actually care about human beings, it, it's hard to perceive that there's such big monsters out there that would commit such terrible acts but you have to understand that this is a reality that we are living in and whether it's something spiritual energetic woo woo or just downright evil you have to understand that there's some sick individuals out there that could be your neurosurgeon out of all people and many times these very monstrous evil people walk free because they're connected with other monstrous evil people in government and authority that somehow people trust again the whole idea of, of just believing that someone has your best interests at heart is a very foolish one. And I think a lot of us are learning that in 2020, slowly but, but surely. But as we're seeing time and time again, especially with, by the way, the Harvey Weinstein case and the Jeffrey Epstein case, that for over 30 years, around three decades, we had abuse of thousands of children and women with, of course, the federal government, federal agents, judges, prosecutors, and high-level politicians looking the other way for 
close to 30 years. And that trend is continuing with the latest news of a British labor councillor who was caught with over 1 million unspeakable images of, of child abuse. A sick person who, by the, by the way, worked in a children's home was able to walk free after an extremely light punishment by the government compared to the crimes that, of course, he committed. Again, people should really consider this whole concept of, of politicians representing them. Uh, seriously, I mean, look what you're dealing with here. And this is why more than ever, we still have to understand that we still know very little. We only know a tiny bit of exactly what happened with the Jeffrey Epstein saga, and that there are far more powerful and other individuals involved in this entire extortion operation, which has been linked to many government agencies. There's still a lot more that we don't know about that we deserve the full truth on. Many individuals, recruiters, many horrible people are still walking free, and we barely even know the half of what actually happened with these individuals and their very powerful friends. This is why we're paying such close attention to the Ghislaine Maxwell case, which, by the way, more and more victims keep coming forward with the Daily Beast reporting that it's almost close to a 100 people coming forward accusing Maxwell and Epstein of hurting them. And as I've been saying from the very beginning, there was thousands of children hurt and abused here and the people that are coming forward are very brave and they do deserve our support there's been very few journalistic organizations that actually have been talking about it even though i disagree with what a lot the daily beast the daily mail and sometimes the miami herald even publishes but those are some of the media organizations that do deserve some accreditation when it comes to them following this story and releasing important information that's usually ignored by the bigger, more establishment, nationwide, western media organizations that absolutely have done a horrible, horrendous job throughout the years. Many of them, by the way, promoting Jeffrey Epstein as a stand-up good guy, since, of course, Jeffrey Epstein was manipulating the mainstream media as independent media was exposing him. But this is why, again, we're following the story extremely closely. We're waiting for the documents to dump. Expect a video from us as soon as it does come out. Again, anything could happen here, especially with Ghislaine Maxwell being in a corrupt correction detention facility that is known for hurting and abusing inmates. The latest information we're getting is that some inmates are ordered to clean and polish the floor before Ghislaine Maxwell is moved from a different jail cell, as they are doing this routinely now. Some media organizations have criticized this as the, quote, royal treatment, as Ghislaine Maxwell has an entire floor to herself in the Brooklyn jail. And again, anything could happen because we still have an entire year now to go until the trial actually begins. But before the trial begins, there are motions being cast that are very important and very significant. Court motions specifically dealing with discovery that Ghislaine Maxwell and her defense are conjuring, as well as the prosecutors are gathering to build up this entire case. And one of the motions put together by Ghislaine Maxwell's highly paid legal team is to make any videos and photos of Ghislaine Maxwell without her clothes in this entire case to be marked as highly confidential. And if this motion passes, it would be very convenient for Ghislaine Maxwell that's mainly accused of abusing children and documenting it, as of course we're also getting information from some new court documents, according to witness testimony that Ghislaine enjoyed taking these photos of, again, children. Now, it will be up to the judge to decide whether this protective motion goes through or not. Another motion that Ghislaine Maxwell's legal team put out there was a request to publicly name the underage children who accused Epstein of hurting them. A lot of these victims are anonymous and under the name John Doe and Jane Doe. The federal prosecutors are arguing against this motion because they're saying a lot of these victims would be exposed to harassment and intimidation if they are publicly outed during this case. And that will be another important decision for the judge. And if it is 
approved, you could definitely expect a lot of victims to not go forward in the future and to potentially even recuse themselves from this case. But we don't know if that's a possibility yet. Those are the arguments that the federal government is putting out there, and I do believe there is some validity to them. Another motion requested by Ghislaine Maxwell's lawyers is to prevent a lot of these victims and accusers from posting anything online, putting together a proposed agreement to keep evidence secret prior to the trial, which again will happen in a year, which to personally I'm definitely against this motion. I hope the judge rules against it because again, the public deserves to know exactly what is going on here. Again, we are still just moments ago from very secretive documents surrounding the Epstein case soon to be released. These documents are from the 2015 case. They are unsealed. They are supposed to be made available and released no later than July 30th. Right now, as the making of this video, it is July 29th. The potential bombshells in here surrounding the prince in the United Kingdom, many politicians, many victims, Jeffrey Epstein himself, will be very eye-opening to say the least. Since we know there's been a lot of wrongdoing in this case, another update that we're getting just moments ago is that the Virgin Islands Attorney General is subpoenaing all the major banks for Jeffrey Epstein's financial records. By the way, Deutsche Bank was recently in hot water, is still in litigation with the judge that had her family assassinated just a couple days ago by a guy who was in a private intelligence organization that is also connected and worked for Deutsche Bank previously before. Yeah, remember that story, but just as a reminder, major banking financial institutions were working with Jeffrey Epstein looking the other way not just Deutsche Bank, Chase Bank, and many other large institutions that helped Jeffrey Epstein gain his mysterious millions of dollars. Yes, many people still don't know exactly how Jeffrey Epstein got his hundreds of millions of dollars, but looking into some of the banking records will be key to unfolding the greater mystery of where did Jeffrey Epstein wealth actually come from, since many people still, to this day, don't no. Again, J.P. Morgan Chase, Citibank have been subpoenaed. No surprise there. The banksters who looked the other way and aided and abetted Jeffrey Epstein are absolute criminals. They are also tied to many powerful institutions in our society, and they deserve to be highly scrutinized. Also, with 2020 being as unpredictable as it is, I would definitely suggest not keeping all of your money in major banks. I would definitely diversify. I would definitely keep some cash on hand, especially from all the important lessons that I learned in Zimbabwe and Venezuela. Keep some cash on hand. And the last update that we're hearing is that Jeffrey Epstein's surveillance camera filled mansion that was one of the largest and one of the, the most expensive places in New York City is going up for sale for 88 million dollars. This is of course where many powerful people came. This piece of real estate is wired with the latest high-tech surveillance technology used for the extortion purposes of our politicians, elected officials, and banksters that for some reason can't control themselves and like to abuse and hurt children. Anyway, I think you can understand exactly where I'm coming from. With all the news happening, we, we need to hold the government accountable, including the Attorney General Bill Barr that some people are applauding during his House committee hearings that just took place yesterday. But there is one important question that does deserve more attention, and that was statements made by Representative Stephen Cohen, who said that it was very convenient that Epstein had been able to die. And uh, that's definitely an understatement for a lot of powerful individuals who are connected with them, including, quote, health experts like Bill Gates. And even though a lot of the hearing was filled with just idiotic grandstanding with non-logical points, this was something that deserves to be pointed out, since, of course, Attorney General Bill Barr does have connections to Jeffrey Epstein with his law firm, with his father, and we are still waiting to absolutely find out what really happened in Jeffrey Epstein's cell which he still holds all the secrets to since he said he watched the video. Some of the videos were allegedly deleted. Again, we need more answers from Bill Barr about exactly what he saw and what really happened to Jeffrey Epstein. Until we really find out the, the full, the full story of what Jeffrey Epstein did, the, the politicians and banksters and 
quote, scientific experts he extorted and what he did when he hung out with them, there's no reason to absolutely trust any government or mainstream media that was also corrupted by these child abusers. Yep, the people that you're told to trust the most are in one way or another connected in aiding and abetting child abusers. Especially if you're living in the UK. I mean, what's going on there is just absolutely insane. I mean, these people even look sick themselves. I digress. We're living in a very sick world where things like this are accepted. It's unacceptable to me. And if it's unacceptable to you, get this video out there to the larger public. You could guarantee YouTube is going to, of course, shadow ban it. It's already fully 100% demonetized, so it's going to be censored in one way or another. But this video still goes out there because of you getting it out there to your friends, to your family members, on your timeline, on your feeds, whatever it may be. It's because of you that I'm still here magically, miraculously. And this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.